The city of Riverside's Mission Inn, which was established in 1876, first appeared in early silent movies and has served as a filming location staple ever since. You can see the inn's beautiful Parisian room here in The Man in the Iron Mask and in the wedding scene in Nixon where the real Dick and Pat got married. The city of Riverside itself is also a popular filming destination. The action movie Escape from Ensenada with Louis Mandelar filmed scenes in the county courthouse and the county administration building. The 2017 comedy Just Getting Started with Tommy Lee Jones, Morgan Freeman, and Rene Russo filmed in Palm Springs and on Dillon Road near Indio. And Tom Cruise appears to be traveling the world in Mission Impossible 3. But in actuality, Palm Springs was one of the major locations used for production. Coachella Valley also served as the backdrop for scenes in last year's A Star is Born. Lady Gaga headlined the Coachella Music Festival, where they shot some of the concert crowds. The film crew then took over the festival grounds during the week in between the festival's weekends and shot what they needed with locals serving as extras. Footage was also shot of Bradley Cooper singing and playing guitar for a few minutes between acts at the Stagecoach Music Festival. They also filmed at Palm Springs Convention Center, Dillon Road, and Jalisco Tires. And recently, the entire movie Senior Moment, starring William Shatner and Christopher Lloyd, was also filmed in the Coachella Valley. It's now in post-production, so look for it soon in a theater near you. If you caught the 2017 comedy Garlic and Gunpowder with Vivica Fox, you might have noticed it was filmed in Temecula in multiple locations and in Menifee on Garbani Dirt Road. You might not know that the Moreno Valley has also hosted a lot of film production. Welcome to the location of the former Riverside International Raceway. It's a mall now, but the raceway will always be remembered for many action-packed movie moments. Grand Prix, starring James Garner and Eve Marie Saint, whose characters dealt with rivalries between drivers on the race car circuit. Many scenes were shot on the raceway, as were the films, Road Racers, The First Love Bug, Speedway, starring Elvis Presley, Thunder Alley, with Annette Funicello and Fabian, Winning, starring Paul Newman and Joanne Woodward. Of course, it's not just filmmakers who come here. Many television and commercial productions have made their way to the county, such as The Late Show with James Corden and his guest Tom Cruise at Paris Skydive. And this Star Wars Nissan commercial. Star Wars The Last Jedi, now playing which was filmed in Hemet on Dominagoni Parkway, this location was secured by the Riverside County Film Commission at the last minute after the production had lost their original filming site. Here with us now is Stephanie Statham from the Riverside County Film Commission. They're the ones who are instrumental in bringing Hollywood to Riverside County. Thanks for being here, Stephanie. Thank you so much for having me. I appreciate it. Can you tell us what the Film Commission does, how you get productions to film here, and how you facilitate the process? Uh, the Riverside County Film Commission issues the film permits for unincorporated areas of the county and any county-owned property. We uh, revised our film ordinance back in 2013 to allow for free film permits for unincorporated areas and free county-owned properties. So what that did was give us a marketing tool to send out to Hollywood to say, hey, we're open for business, we have free stuff here, come on down, and it has worked. I think it's interesting that you were able to find a new location for the Nissan commercial at the very last minute. Can you tell me about that? Uh, the Nissan Star Wars commercial came to us um, late on a Friday afternoon. It was about five o'clock, the worst time to call, and they were in a panic because they lost their highway, which was in Los Angeles. They didn't know there was something going on there at that time after they got it permitted. Uh, so we found them Dominagoni Parkway at Hemet. Uh, has kind of a similar look to a highway. And we worked together with our department, our transportation department, City of Hemet and their transportation department, the CHP, the California Film Commission, and the Sheriff's Department, all to come together to get the road closed down for three days. And we did all this in two weeks. They were so excited wow. that they came back 
the next year to film another Nissan commercial on the same road. How much do these productions add to Riverside County's economy? I think people would be surprised to know how much they contribute when they come here, the film productions. Besides using our hotels and using our caterers and food and things like that, Home Depot, they also are hiring our local crew and actors. So that's putting our people to work and it's a huge economic impact for our area. What are the Commission's goals for the future? We want to just continue what we're doing and grow it and have more film production, big film production here, like the big budget films. Um, they're a little elusive at this time, but we're starting to get a few, like a Star is Born film, some of theirs out here. So that is our goal, just keep plugging away and doing what we're doing. That's so awesome. Well, thank you so much for being here and telling us about the Film Commission. You're very welcome. Thank you for having me.